Hi, how we doing? Dale Obracta here. And today I'm going to teach you how to make this bulldog. Yes, this lovely little bulldog, which I created a long time ago and I'm sharing with you on how to make him. He's quick, he's easy, only takes a couple balloons. And I'm going to show you how to do this step by step right now. So first thing we're going to need is gray balloons. I like doing bulldogs out of gray. You could do them out of brown. You could do them out of white. Bulldogs are one of the most popular baseball mascots. And I've had requests for this for years. And you see posts always online, people asking, going, anybody have a quick bulldog or a good bulldog to do? Because bulldogs are not the easiest to do. Actually, they're not the easiest to design. Once you've designed it, they're easy to make, but the design is the whole key. So that's what I'm going to show you today. And to start off, I'm going to take a gray balloon. And this balloon is basically, it, you know, four fingers, five fingers left over. And uh, a couple things about this dog. This dog has a lot of parts that you have to downsize because if you get too crazy with the size, you just literally run out of balloon. And then you're adding four, five, six balloons to do what really is only a two and a half balloon dog. So we're going to start off with the jowls, the jowls, the, jo the jowls, the jowls, I guess that's how you say it. And that's this part of the dog right here. And to do that, I'm going to take and I'm going to make roughly a two finger. So it's about four fingers and I'm going to bend. And I just want to make a small bend like this. Now, at this point where this comes across, I'm going to make a bubble. So this part right here, a bubble. Now I'm going to put a lot of twists in here because I'm going to do a, what I call a rollover bubble. It's a bubble that we're going to take and roll it over another bubble. So now what I need to do is reproduce this same piece. So I'm going to soften it up, squeeze it, and I am going to get a second piece that is identical. So we have nothing more than a bent balloon, bubble, bent balloon. And at this point, I've tied it off. I'm going to put my stabilizer bubble, which is actually the neck bubble. Now, this is just the jaw part of the dog. We're going to make the top part of the snout or the nose of the dog. Now, to do this, I do not want to make it the same size. I roughly want to make it about two-thirds of this balloon. So I'm going to make a bubble about two-thirds. So if this is about four fingers, I am doing this roughly three fingers. Again, I'm going to put another bubble, and I want to make sure I put quite a few twists in between these bubbles because I'm going to take these bubbles and wrap them around each other. If I don't put enough twists in here when I go to wrap around, they untwist. Now I'm going to make a bubble the same size as this one. And I'm going to take that bubble and twist it in. Now, here comes the fun part. I want to take and I want to make sure that the the bends are not up, but I want the bends, I want the, the curve to go this way. Now I'm going to take this bubble and wrap it around this bubble or this bubble down and around. I'm going to switch places with them. So I'm going to put them in and I'm going to pull, I could show you this at the right angle. I'm going to take this bubble and pull it over and spin it. And twist it. And in doing this, I now create this bent shape right here with this bubble on top of that bubble. So now I'm going to take and finish the top half. So this is the bottom half or the, the muzzle of the dog. Now what we're going to do here is a teddy bear head. And the dimensions are slightly off. When I say they're off, it's going to be a smaller section here, followed by a small arrow, not arrow, but a small ear, followed by a wider part, which is going to be the forehead of the dog. So about, I would say, three fingers. We're doing a one-finger bubble. 
which turns into a pinch twist. Now we're going to do approximately a four to a five finger bubble followed by a bubble that's going to be identical to this. So it's a one finger that's turned into a pinch twist to again my three finger bubble, which is the same size as this. Now I'm going to bring this in and twist it all together, arranging my lock bubble to be in the back of the head. And this ear will spin down. And you'll see why later why I actually bend these down. This is, let me just do a little adjustment here. There's the head giving you all different angles that you can look at this. Now I'm going to take my neck. Another bubble. You can see I'm out of balloon here. It won't matter. This is going to be the body of the dog. And we're actually, if you want right now, you can just break some of that off. And don't go crazy because this is the body of the dog. So I have a body and then I could have enough for a tail. Okay. I just didn't want to have that extremely tight balloon there because sometimes when you start working with it, it, it could explode. So this way I've eliminated that fear. Uh, it's a little easier to work with. I'm not under stress or the balloon's not under stress. Now what I'm going to do is take this balloon. I'm going to put the dog, dog head and body aside. And we're going to do the legs now. To do the legs, the legs are right actually here. And I like to do roughly a hand, which is four fingers, maybe a little more. We're going to do a stabilizer bubble or a pinch twist. So it's going to be a small bubble. This is the bubble that's going to be in the back of the leg. So this is the back of the paw. So if you did, if you looked at a paw, the paw is actually like this. If my leg is the paw, this is the heel part. And then we're going to do the paw section. Now the actual paw section, it's nothing more than a soft one inch bubble, two, one and a half, two finger bubble that's turned into a pinch twist. Again, another soft little two. You're making them the same identical size. So we have two fingers now make this bubble the same identical size. Now from here, I have my feet. What I'm going to do is take my feet, this section, and tie it right into this section right here. So we twist that around. Now, I want to take this long part of the balloon and send it through the legs because a bulldog has this huge chest. If I look right here, here's the chest of the bulldog. That's what I'm going to be sending through, this excess balloon. So I send it through, and I'm going to put this bubble in the very back. So now I have this massive chest that I can actually puff out straighten out the feet and you can see I have the chest now now approximately where my tail is going to be I'm gonna finish the body by doing another pinch twist and what I'm gonna do right now is tie this part the tail into the body now I know you're going to be tempted right at this moment you may be tempted before just to make up the legs and then tie in the tail. There's a reason why I do this is because I want the front legs longer than the back legs. If I make the legs the same size, my bulldog does, starts to stand straight. When in reality, I want my bulldog to actually have longer legs in the front, shorter legs in the back. So by doing this now, I have capability of saying, okay, I made this approximately four fingers. This is roughly going to be about two fingers, maybe three. Then I do my small bubble. I do the foot. And this is the time I want to say right now, do me a favor. There's a lot of people who watch these videos and don't subscribe. Do me a favor, click the subscribe. It's free. It costs you nothing. 
Uh, if you like the video, definitely, you know, always watch to the end. That's why I tell everybody, watch the end. And leave me a comment. If you like this bulldog, let me know if this has helped you and made your life a little easier. Now what I'm going to do is just finish off this foot. And I'm going to break this down because I need to make it the same size as the leg. There we go. I tie this off, bring this up, wrap it around. All right. Hopefully, my, hopefully your bull, bulldog is looking like mine. All right, we have it. We still got the ears to put on here, the nose to put on, but you could see the shape of the bulldog's legs. You could see how now it sits where you have the lower back leg. It sits on an eight. It sits like a bulldog. Bulldogs, remember from Bugs Bunny cartoons, a bulldog had that sloping back. That's the same effect that we want with that with that tail that's up. Now to finish it off, it's not that difficult. What we're gonna do. You can go a couple different ways here. You can put the eyes on, then you can put the nose, you can put the ears, you can put the ears, you can put the eyes, you can put the nose, nose, ears, eyes, however you want to do it. Because this, is, this moment right now, we're just accessorizing. So what I'm going to do is we'll start with the nose. Black balloon. Take a small bubble. And we're going to take this end, tie it to the other end, and we're going to pull it so it turns into... A kidney bean see the kidney bean shape let me put right behind my hand here see the kidney bean shape that is the shape of the dog's nose now what I'm gonna do is break off and I want to have a tail don't break it right next to it because you won't be able to tie it in we're gonna take this down bring it through and wrap it back here so hold it down I just wrapped it in. See that bulldog nose? It's not a round ball. It's a bulldog nose. It's It's got that concave shape. See, this is why you watch to the end and you leave comments. When you watch the end, that's when you see the real cool stuff, how it's being done. There's the nose. All right. We're going to do the eyes. We're going to start here with, this is just a scrap of white. I'm going to just take this in. Tie it into, not tie, just wrap around. I come down, make a bubble that's going to be the eye. We're going to take the, this joint right here and bring it into this section of the dog. So I'm going to bring it down in, wrap it around, come up to the other side. Make a bubble the same size. And all I did was wrap it around that other ear you'll see in a second. All right, there's the other ear. All I did was I wrapped it around, came down, twisted, brought it up, came up here, tied it off and broke it off. Now, some people like to leave their bulldogs looking like this, okay? I, I guess they have short-eared bulldogs. I'm not a big fan of that. So I go to the next step, and what I'm going to do is make the ear. Again, it's going to be a small little bend. And just squeeze the ear back up so I get that shape. All I want is that little hook. I don't want, I don't want to make it really big. I just want to make it... Just a little bend in it. Now I'm going to take that section right here and tie it into, wrap it around this section right there. Now this part right here is going to be the back of the bulldog's head. So I make a bubble that's the same size as this. Wrap it around. Now what I'm going to do is, again, a small little 
pinch twist, bend, fold, crease, boom. Gonna break off the excess. Leaving enough space to tie, because you don't want to break it too close. Alright, do a little squeeze again. I want to give these ears that little bowed look. Alright, so here it is. Because you've watched to the end, I'm going to show you the magical artwork that comes at the very end, which is really just nothing more than nice big circles. For eyes, make sure we get the eyes dots the same size. This is the Magical Balloon Dude, Dale's Bulldog. I hope you like this. I've been, this is a design I came up with years ago. I haven't showed too many people this design, but I'm showing the world now. So please leave a comment. And like always, when I do my, any of my animals that I give off, I, I cock their heads when I present it. So they're actually, I, I very rarely do I present an animal straight on. I usually will twist it so when I present it to the person, they could see the front of the dog, they could see the dog's body, they could see the shape, they could see the twist. And if you know, if you want to go to take it one step farther, because you stay to the end, I'm going to give you one little bonus tip you could do. All right, take a red balloon, I'm going to elongate it, stretch it. We're going to make it a 160. All right, so I've made my 160. Got to ship my compressor off here because I don't want to hear buzzing in here. And I think you know what I'm doing. I'm putting a collar on it. This is this is going that one extra step. Going that one little one little step farther if you really want to impress somebody. <laughs> You put a collar on it, and boom, there he is. Your English bulldog. <laughs> so I hope you like this. Do me a favor. Drop me a comment. My name is Magical Balloon Dude Dale. Do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel. It costs you nothing. I put videos out. I stream Fridays. I try to, but because baseball has kicked in, I've missed a couple weeks. So I'm going to try getting back onto that uh, streaming every Friday live. So do me a favor. Follow this YouTube channel. Till next time, be good, be safe. I'm out of here. Bye bye. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and never miss a video. Subscribe now. Click the little bell and always be notified of a live broadcast. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're a TikTok fan, you'll find me under the same name, Dale LaBrocta. Looking forward to seeing you on social media.